Tonight we're digging into a federal bill that would prohibit schools from providing sex education and libraries from offering books with LGBTQ topics to the kids who are under the age of 10. Republican Congressman Mike Johnson from Louisiana proposed this legislation, legislation saying the bill is needed because the Democratic Party and its allies are on a crusade to immerse young kids in sexual imagery and radical gender ideology. But as Rachel Krause explains for us, local LGBTQ groups and community members are pushing back, saying this bill does more harm to kids than good. In my opinion, this has nothing to do with sexuality. This has nothing to do with sexualizing kids. It's about harming the LGBTQ plus community. Earlier this week, more than 30 Republican lawmakers from around the country presented a new bill seeking to stop the use of federal funds to develop, implement, facilitate, or fund any sexually oriented program, event, or literature for children under the age of 10. The bill, known as the Stop the Sexualization of Children Act of 2022, was filed by Rep. Mike Johnson of Louisiana. Critics are calling it a national don't say gay bill, nicknamed after a similar controversial Florida law that Governor Ron DeSantis signed into law earlier this year. Zoe O'Hanlon Byrne with Indiana Youth Group, which offers support and resources for LGBTQ youth here in the Hoosier state, says this legislation is concerning, opening the gates for bullying and harassment of LGBTQ students. Now they can bully and teachers can't stick up for them because they can't explain why it's wrong to uh, ostracize someone for their identity. They, if they were to explain that, they could be, they could face really bad repercussions for it. So yeah, it is going to lead to more bullying and less that teachers can do. The teacher's hands are gonna be tied as far as helping those students who need it the most. The bill defines sexually oriented material as any depiction, description, or simulation of sexual activity, any lewd or lascivious depiction or description of human genitals, or any topic involving gender identity, gender dysphoria, transgenderism, sexual orientation, or related subjects. It would impact federally funded facilities and programs, including libraries, schools, military bases, and hospitals, halting sex education in schools, or library books that include LGBTQ topics to kids under 10. Whenever these conversations come up, they use sexual, the word sexualization as like the buzzword to it, but it's usually actually tends to have more to do with identity. So I'm very concerned of what this is going to mean for these kids that they have to feel the need to suppress their identity. O'Halen Byrne says this bill was made to resolve issues that don't exist, but she says it will create problems for students in schools impacted by this suppression. She's hoping to see people around the country take action to ensure it's never passed. Citizens of Indianapolis and citizens across the nation should be making their opinions known and letting people know that, you know, this could do real harm. And um, if we're here for the kids, we need to be here for all kids. 13 News reached out to every member of the Indiana delegation in Washington to learn what they think about this bill. We only heard from Congressman Andre Carson tonight, who told us he strongly opposes any measure that makes children feel shame or guilt for who they are. That bill was announced on Tuesday.